So in this video, I want to talk about what I would call the Theorem problem. Now, of course, the title itself is going to be quite a fun title, and I've designed it that way deliberately because it kind of represents a very similar title format. So let me get into the context of it, but to be very clear, no, there will be no spoilers as far as the manga goes. I am simply going to be talking about some of the issues as far as analyzing Feyren goes. I will be talking about only the anime if I do talk about it. It will only be from the anime, so you will not get any spoilers. But one of the issues that I've noticed about Feyren as a series is that it's become popular. And I know that sounds weird, but when when something becomes popular, it becomes target for a lot of stupidity. Whether it's just people hating a show because it's popular, or people analysing a show because it's easy bait to make a video. Now, one of the sayings that I've always had when it comes to the YouTube space, and particularly the anime YouTube space, is... Many content creators will make the video around the title, not the title around the video. Now, for some that don't understand what I mean by that, let me explain. For me as a content creator, what I will do is I will come up with a really cool topic that I want to talk about, something that I want to analyze that I think is interesting and worth analyzing, that there is something there actually worth analyzing. And then I will make the title around that topic. What a lot of content creators do nowadays is they come up with a title that will maximize on the amount of views, clicks, all the rest, and then they will build the video around that title. Now that seems harmless from some perspectives, but one of the issues that it creates is when you have videos where they will forcefully try to analyze something out of a show because the title for it makes really good headlines of, oh my god, there are issues with this anime. And then they've got to create issues. And so you have a situation like Feyren where you see many content creators trying to analyze demons. Now, you could argue whether the writing is good or not as far as the story goes. I think Feyren is an absolutely amazing series as far as the story goes. But I feel like a lot of people are analyzing the wrong components. And the reason being is because even with myself, there's no point analyzing Feyren because it's already been talked to death. Everyone's analyzed the main premise of the story, which is, in my opinion, growth, development, the passing of time. There's a multitude of layers to it, but most of it is to do with her, her past, her present, and the future. And then you've got the demons. And that's where the analyzing seems to be hyper-focused on because that seems to be the easy free real estate. But the problem is, is there's nothing to really analyze there. They're evil. They do evil things. It's a very simplistic way of going about trying to create demons. They're just bad. And simplistic doesn't mean that's inherently bad. Sometimes you need to make very simple villains to make it exactly what it is. Because when you try to create a villain and you add too much backstory reasoning behind it, you start to create a problem where people will start to try and understand the character and give it a little bit of sympathy. A great example of that is when I talk about certain other series like Darmachi, and I talk about certain villains and explaining why they do things. Because I've always said, you know, in, in most stories, is there's always a reason behind something. And that's generally the case even with Feyran, is that these demons do have their own motives to do things, whether it's just to eat humans or destroy stuff or kill or at the hunt. There's a, there's a reason for it, but they're purely just designed to be evil. That's it. That is their hard code. But when you try and add more layers to it of them trying to adapt to human society so that they can infiltrate them to try and kill, because that's the most effective way to kill their enemy, their greatest enemy, which is humans and elves, etc., is that they try to imitate them. They try to mimic their behavior. And so they talk amongst each other like humans. They try to use the same language. And even though they don't quite understand it, that's how they go about it. It's the best way of infiltrating is to become one of them, get inside, and then slowly erode away at them and destroy them. It's, it's a very simplistic way of creating pure evil. But one of the issues is that content creators are trying to analyze something that doesn't need to be analyzed and trying to create weird lopsided, hypocritical ways of being like, oh, but, you know, maybe she's just as bad as them. And I've seen many clips, and here's the thing, I'll be honest. I watch these clips, and then I sit there and, and look back at them, and I can't even remember what they say. Because they use so much mental gymnastics, my brain cannot comprehend what they're trying to 
deconstruct because they will try and say that, oh, she's no different than them because, oh, she's emotionless and all this other stuff. And it's like, wait, huh? You're ignoring half of the other story. And this is exactly the issue when it comes to analyzing Feyram, is a lot of these content creators are only cherry picking components from the story and going, well, she's emotionless, just like these demons. But I'm now going to ignore all these other parts of the story where she does demonstrate emotion. Oh, she indiscriminately kills for no reason. Um, excuse me? She's got a reason for it. And to say she just indiscriminately kills, let's take the reasoning out. Well, no, she doesn't. Again, she is at war with an enemy that she sees as pure evil and that have demonstrated time and time and time and time and time and time again that their entire motive is to destroy them so it's either kill or be killed and that's exactly how she sees it and that's exactly what the story is trying to highlight so what the issue comes down to is that they're trying to analyze something that doesn't need to be analyzed and then they're contradicting the story and then trying to say, well, the writer actually meant this with the story when the writer never meant that. And then they'll try and look for hypocrisies or issues or little nitpicks with the story. Now, of course, you're going to be able to nitpick anything in stories like this because these stories aren't grounded in realism these are demons these are purely evil simplistic demons that have got basic motives and i say simplistic because that's how the writers tried to do the best job of creating them as simplistic as possible to be honest i do think he could have made them more simplistic in that they just kind of followed the sort of the line of, say, like Lord of the Rings, where they're just evil and you know nothing about them. And honestly, sometimes I think that's a better way to go about it when it comes to creating pure evil characters. Because the moment, the moment you start to make them look human, because here's a great example. If Goblin Slayer, if these demons looked like goblins from Goblin Slayer, these same people would not be saying what they're saying now. If the story was exactly the same, just the aesthetic look of the demons was like goblins from Goblin Slayer, these content creators would not be making the videos that they're making. And that's an excellent point that I saw around the internet where people said that. Because the goblins do some pretty horrible things. You say, oh, but they do all these... They're purely evil as well. How they go about it might be slightly varied, but they're purely evil as is the demons in Feyren. But the difference is, is that the goblins aren't trying to mimic being part of society. They're just, they pop, they're like rabbits. They just pop out of a hole and they go, yeah, we're going to spawn somewhere. It reminds me of Biters in Factorio. Yes, I'm playing Factorio a lot in the past couple of weeks. That's why my content is so spare. <laughs> it's all over the place. But it's like that. You just, one minute, you've emptied out this entire location, like, ooh, no biters. And then, like 30 minutes later, you're like, why is there a giant nest there? Oh, wait, they're spawning over there. Oh, they're spawning over there. They're like goblins. They just spawn. So they don't really have this whole idea of that they need to infiltrate to get in. Demons in Feyran kind of function a bit differently, but their still primary purpose is pure evil. The, the thing is, is with Goblin Slayer, they try to remove any connection to them. And even then, here's the funny part. Goblin Slayer... Goblins in Goblin Slayer actually have more humanity because one of the thing, one of the people, or one of the things, one of the goblins that trained Goblin Slayer was a goblin. Yeah. So there's more humanity in the goblins in Goblin Slayer than there is in the demons in Feyran. And yet we don't see these content creators talking about how, oh, maybe we misunderstood the goblins all along. No. But you're hearing people going, we misunderstood the demons in Demon Slayer, even though there's actually none of them that have been good they're just all manipulative they're all just trying they're like mimics trying to imitate human behavior as best as possible and one of the other reasonings that i saw was that oh they have an honor system because they see magic as it like a way of seeing like honor and i'm like no that's just them understanding that if you have a higher magic pole you're stronger which is why they they show their magic they're going yeah me strong me leader they're very much like a pr like pr primals they just go hey you're the pack leader because you've got the highest amount of mana and that's exactly what the story highlights then they use the excuse of well they call her a coward yeah because they're angry that they got killed Yes, they have some emotions, but they lack a lot of the other emotions like empathy. Their, their main emotions are just 
anger, hate, rage, kill, 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 kill. But they're trying to do that and go, well, because they have some of these emotions, then they must have empathy. The problem is, is the story is not trying to have them have empathy. And so this is the problem. They, they're nitpicking at a story that is trying to create a very different line of logic when it comes to reality. They're trying to put Feyren in the real world as far as analysis goes. You can't do that. You can't do that with Feyren. You cannot grab it and go, this is how human emotions work in the real world when it comes to demons, and this is how it should, it's just like, no. Now, yes, you could use real world emotions as far as the other humans and elves go, because they're trying to represent real human emotions, but as far as the demons go, no, they're not, they're not representing of our emotions. These are just very simplistic, evil, 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 do evil things. Very simple, I know, I'm saying evil a lot, because that's purely it. It's not complicated, but because the writer does such a good job at creating these demons to try and mimic behavior, you're getting weird analysis where they're trying to analyze again in an area that doesn't need to be analyzed, which is why I find it stupid that I'm having to do a video on an analysis on demons when they are just purely exactly what they are, evil. And that's what the favorite problem is, is that people are trying to look for something that doesn't exist which i in itself find it fascinating in the actual way people are going about trying to analyze it rather than the actual analysis itself because there's nothing really to analyze there i'm just more just looking at how they're trying to analyze it and going why why are you doing that other than maybe you're just trying to get clicks which you know what i respect the hustle but it really destroys the integrity of content creators because now all I see is tweets again and messages and everything going, huh, oh, Anitubers are the same. Hey, I don't want to be associated with that. I have my problems. I'm not perfect, but I ain't doing that kind of rubbish. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please keep it civil because I know this is such a heavy, hot topic and I know that I'm probably going to get some very colorful comments, a lot of hate because I already have even just thinking about doing this video i've mentioned that i've thought about doing it and i've already gotten some nasty comments so hey i'm not afraid of it but i'm also just asking you please keep it civil because if you don't you will get blocked and i'm not afraid to use it if you can't keep things civil so again if you like this video hit the like subscribe and i'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video